analogy for these two would be David versus Goliath. But uh, given recent events, maybe it's a little bit more the Greeks versus Xerxes, right? You talked about how they're going to be able to scale so well because of the empower, but also high ground defense is uh, bottom lane. Right, here goes here go. Tofu. Can you pull it off? That was too... Okay, he didn't have enough time to react. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, right, sure. By just spending this, yeah, sure, Pop still gets it, but he has to be at that rune for an extra 15 seconds to ensure that he does. Oh, nice damage. Yapsor thought about charging away. He's going to charge in. Whoa. He's going to charge in. Excuse me. All right. Well, yeah, Yapsor just tanks the death then. And you know what the best part is, is that they, they pick this into it. Oh, what is this? What, hap what happened there? Die. How did uh, he must have been charged back or something, right? It's, they both. Uh, he's going to man fight it out, but Yapsor is more than tanky now. More in power base style, but Zaya's just straight up utilizing the spell damage. Yeah, easy help. It's just so much lower risk, it feels, for Secret in all of their lanes. Mid, yeah. they have the advantage. Top lane, oh, we didn't oh, get... Wait, what? What? That shouldn't be... That shouldn't be possible. Oh, mid lane. Oh, don't tell me Nisha did it again. again he's got a haste He's going to chase. Again, oh, God, he's coming. The Axis. Oh, it nails him. Nisha... Obviously moves himself, so the axes are going to come right back towards Stormstormer. Quap is the answer. I dumpster him with Dagger. He's a melee hero. And Nisha is just like, nah, man. Not nah. you, you may uh, dumpster oh, everybody oh. else, but you don't dumpster me. Oh, my goodness. Nisha does it again. Killing spree just off of Quap Quill. Nisha. Kills. May still get the kill as Yapsor lines up a charge to top lane. He sees Gilgur super low, and they don't even need the charge to kill the Lena. 26 seconds slower, huh? Than the patch average? Oh, than the fastest. Okay. Oof. I was going to say. Mid tower. Might be a that? fight. Three minutes faster than the average mid lane. That's going to be an easy kill on a puppy, but. Uh, They'll also get a tower out of this. This is not too bad, but they want to fight. They want to fight real badly. Look at Zai. The charge is going to start coming through. Rasmus is going to be the target to start things off. The axes are raining in. Good Zai just cutting him off with the pass, guarding the choke. Yep, he's going to make sure they can't get away so easily. He's going to skewer over oh. to the side here. Misses straight up. Ace is going to be forced to stone gates here. They're actually going to get the kill on his eye and a big scream Whoa. as well. That actually goes out with this. Oh no, Ace. He thought maybe this was going to be good, but now he's going to be lit up by Puppy and the damage is going oh, to be the axes. too much for him. Oh, he thought no. it was a moment of weakness from Secret, but they didn't have any damage oh, left. And Stormstormer can he blink away in time? <sighs> Oh, thank God. I do not want to see this poor boy die again, Tanisha. And Ace at some point will be strong. Gold lead going back and forth, but if Secret can take this tier two, they will gain control of the outpost. Oh. Charge on through Erasmus. Quick reactions by him, but a quap in the back line is already dead. They're turning around, trying to still deal with the Spirit Breaker. They may kill him, but it takes such a long time. Now they're going to be caught, Tofu. <laughs> No chance in a snowball's hell is he going to be able to get out of that one. The axes. It used to be physical damage on the axes. At least you could stack armor. Now he's suddenly a, an insane mixed damage mid. Cookie. Okay. Early Omni Slash actually bounces over to the Medusa here. They're oh, still going to complete. Rasmus may get bursted down, but they do lose the Juggernaut, and Rasmus isn't dead just yet. Now he gets the Burrow Strike onto Yapsor. They're going to chase after him. Nisha, though, has already cleaned up the toss on the side. Looks like Yapsor, two for one exchange so far with Secret quickly retreating. They say, all right. And Ace is honestly doing his best to keep up with the Beastmaster. He's having been saying that sentence is a little weird. That's the first epicenter I've seen in a while, but that uh, was ill-advised. Oh, no. Did they have, they, did they just Stormstormer wasn't ready to go for that. He blinks away, but the axes, the axes, they're always there beyond godlike for Nisha and Rasmus. He won't be getting out either. Oh, uh, that's just straight up mistakes. Yeah, like, pretty calm. Doesn't pop anything major here. The charge completing here. Still on to oh, the Medusa. Stop. The skewer misses from Zai. The shots come in from the Snapfire, and from a distance, they're going to bring down Gilger. One support already down, and Ace having to use his Stone Gaze to retreat. It's time to leave, but they can't get away from this Beastmaster. He pursues. Blink Dagger and Axe is raining in constantly. Storm Stormer. Caught. Zai. Oh, Zai. Another <laughs> screw up from him, and. They're still going to catch him, maybe. Yapsor, he's like, don't worry, buddy. I got him, even if it forces me into tier twos. Oh, the Sapphire! The healing talent comes out and actually keeps Yapsor alive. That one will land. Well done. 
And Zai and Nisha are able to bring down. Oh, the two. Aontis immediately popping there. Zai is quite low. He's going to try and skewer away to safety here. The last couple of shots are coming in. It's not quite enough. The Solar Crest helps keep him alive. And Ace is taking so much damage from these axes. He's got to retreat. But nice interception there from Rasmus. He stops the charge on through. Gives up his life to be able to bring down Yapsor. But Ace, he needs more help. And Nisha, he doesn't care about the tier fours. He's in deep past them. He's just going to take him out with more axes. Damage to survive. They well, oh, Ace is way out by himself right now. So Yapsor, he's making the call. Don't TP in. Just take the tier three. Take the lane of bear. So I'm going to make sure this guy can't TP out. Deals with the Hawk. The melee barracks is about to fall. Matub Man, he'll just pop the spin to finish it off. Start backing away. Skewer on in. Manage to find Gilger. The Yule Scepter, that's only going to buy you a moment of peace before you eventually die, sir. 10 to 11 with 11,000 net worth lead. Secret. I'm taking one lane of barracks. He's just playing his own game, own little mini game on the side, and just whack a mole, throwing axes <laughs> constantly. All right, screws him back a little SRP. bit, hits the RP. The just snowball. Keep him in place, keep the axes flowing. Nice snowball backwards into the siege wagon that was inside of the base. They're still gonna go for it though. The charge on through, Tofu's already dead. Nice sonic wave that hits a lot of units here, but Nisha, the axes continue to build up. Nisha does get stone gates here. He still has a cheese to be able to work with. The cookie gives him a little hop. He turns around, nice kick up, but now they've skewered him in deeper and that's not where they wanna be. The snowball pulls him around, but Ace, he doesn't have anything left. He doesn't have enough damage to be able to deal with Secret and that's it, yeah. it's GG. There is no way in hell that they're gonna let this beast master through again hell bear smashers 100 are banning that out otherwise it just it's a two up this tinker oh. bounty hunter combo that they got going on in secret they did him dirty yeah. this is gross a little puppy. bit more okay with trading off puppy and his bounty hunter man he loves playing this hero he's gonna hunt so many carriers with his eyes very brave yeah, they uh, do manage to land the two-man stomp here, and Ace is oh, wow. quite low, and they're really laying the damage into him. Puppy might just be able to finish him off. He knows he can't run. Ace is just standing here because <laughs> he's got nowhere to run to. Oh. The snake, the first blood, they get it, and Puppy's dead as well. <laughs> what a turnaround, Smashers. And then Gilger, just two-point Shadow Realm. They're spamming damage, and oh, nice gank. This might be enough. Yeah, this is very important for them to be able to pick up this kill. Look at even Puppy's coming over. The double support rotation into the mid lane in time for the power rune yep. as well. So they're going to guarantee a refill here. But tell me, man, not many places to run here. That Brambles is really well placed. Now, Gilger is taking a lot of I damage here. He may end up going down first. Matama Man doesn't get the kill, so he still has the battle hunger on him, and his spin will bring him down. Now, you'll take that trade, but really well done there to continuously pressure Matu. Look at the CS. Rasmus is enormous. Almost outpaced the Tinker there for a second. Matu is at 12 CS. Regenerating the damage from the one that hit. Surprise rotation. Gilger, wake up. Goes for the Curse Crown. Managed to get a still find Yapsor here with the rotation coming in from Otome, man. He does have his level six. This would be a massive kill if they can get it. He has the man to TP out now if he wants to, and he's going to go for it on the high ground. Matumba man, he doesn't have the damage to kill him fast enough. Meanwhile, Gilger, he's kind of stuck. Shadow Realm up in a second here. Dodges the Shuriken, actually. That's quite nice. Unfortunately, Zai is just going to keep pace with him and... Uh, can't really TP away. So no. He just beats away his life to the tier two. No big deal. They don't have any detection, so he's just away. Home free. Meanwhile, mid lane is going to be run over now. Matumba Man, he may have died, but if they trade out for Rasmus, it'd be okay. The heat seeking missiles aren't going to be enough by themselves, though. As Rasmus does have that blink dagger to be able to disjoint it. Gilger playing the front lines has the Shadow Realm up. So it's like Syndrome said, when it's an Alchemist game, it's an Alchemist game. And when it's a Tinker game, it's a Tinker game. That's like the entire focus of this game is just going to be hunting down the tinker whatever you can nisha oh gilger up oh, okay they spot him now shadow realm goes off trying to hide but i think he's surrounded a little bit too much here sadly no escape for him storm stormer shows up but it's a bit too late to do anything here uh, that's worth it for secret just because the track gold that comes in four man track puppy pocketing an extra 130 Ace. allies 40. All right. Shows up with the Aghanim Scepter. He knows he's really strong at this point in time, and he catches an early kill onto the Rubik immediately. And Ace continuing to feel like he can't really be challenged too much here. They're going to poke at him. Down to half mana now. Now, Stormstormer is being left kind of alone here, and Zai is thinking about it. He's going to go for it. 
See if they can burst him down real quick. The team behind him, the telekinesis, the toss over. Now the snake is going to give him a little bit of room to work with, but he still burst it down. Nisha claims the kill. 1.5 seconds at a minimum. Oh, they found Storm. That is a big, big, big pickoff. They need to be able to burst him down a little bit quicker before he tries to jump away into the trees. Missile, it's going to hunt him down. It's going to catch up to him eventually here. And a simple little bonk will end his life. Puppy, 282 gold. I'd say Puppy's happy with that trade. Oh, yeah, certainly Zai. He had a, a okay. <laughs> gear miss in the bottom lane where Storm Stormer ran out of disables. Okay. And so that gives you options to be able to play into high ground areas you don't have vision or to be able to find heroes that play inside of trees. Oh, Gilger tries to go for the kill. Nice interception there with Rasmus. They may have lost Gilger, but they can still make a good use of this as Rasmus does set up for the Zai kill. And now that Ace is here, Seeker are like, okay, okay, that's it. We're out. BKB Matumba Man is going to wear out here. He's going to be slowed down by the Scotty, hit by the Medusa Snake as well. I don't think he's going to be able to make it through for the laser. Oh, God, the laser does a lot of damage. Rasmus. Oh, the last heat days. seeking missile, he may have to blink that one out. Gyrocopter does go down, and Rasmus barely survives through it all. DD, uh, Alacrity, Solar Crest, Dedusa does a whole bunch of damage. She'll have Aegis, no slots left. At some point, Elite that Scepter, 3.5k gold in the bank. Honestly, again, as long as they're just patient with it, they could just poke away at the tower. Nice man to dodge to be able to dodge that stomp. Now, still hit by the telekinesis inside. So he's like, oh God. I didn't expect that much damage. Now wow. the Rubik's dead as well. Okay. Entire team's dead. Okay. Storm Stormer caught Nisha, so now it's GG. Oh, they just call All it. right. All GG. right. GG. Nisha had died without buyback, so Throne was yeah. going to be exposed. 90% of the cast talking about it. Let's focus on something else. Something that I hate, and I know BSJ shares my hatred of this hero. Legion Commander. Oh, I think it's a great LC game. Uh, I think you guys are... Oh, hang on, we got some level one action. We'll get to oh, it in a moment. Oh, the axes are already out. Tofu's got the fire spirits out as well. That's some strong level one, but Tofu can't get far enough away. The damage! Oh, he pops a fairy fire! Is he staying alive? No, Zai's gonna cut him down. That'll be the first blood for Zai. And an opportunity for him to escape is Smasher's... Hey, he may lose a second one here. Gilger's gonna go down as well. Secret barreling up the high ground and take a great fight for themselves. A Beastmaster beat a Storm Spirit. I don't know if it was um, in the Eastern European Division or in the European. Gilger's also gonna die. Oh dear, these supports on Hellbear Smashers are not having a great time. Four zero yeah. for Secret. Oh wow, my god, yeah, Nisha's Tofu spot. still level one. He does have fire spirits out though, so he'll definitely survive here. And if anything, Rasmus keeps this up. He may just have a kill on Zai. They do. That'll seriously rack up the, the physical damage when you're able to Little Shredder, man. That is a broken ability right now. Top lane, they do manage to get the Phoenix again. He's got another Fire Spirits left. If he lands this, maybe he's got a chance. No, he doesn't. Nice. Saps or... They're well done. And yeah, I love the build from Zai. This is what you see good LCs do. It's all about the W. Max the W. It's not just heal. It's more attack speed, so you trade more efficiently. And you oh! get He just dodged a little bit to the side. I think a couple of swashbuckles yeah. missed. Now the W's, he's just retraining <laughs> up so much. That is a uh, press the attack. Oh, a jump Thank over. You. Nisha, a big wow. kill here on the Storm Stormer if he can get it. Yeah, he does. That is so ballsy. He had uh, no real mana. He had just enough to get the WQ off. If he doesn't get the zip damage, he does not have the kill on that auto attack. Mm. Uh, Matamba dude. Man actually going down here. Exactly what you need. Plus, a little bit of bonus damage is great because the Walrus Punch crit. Yep. Die. Looking around. Tofu. Okay, he's cleared away that attack speed. You're gonna have to dive, or otherwise you're gonna get dueled here. Gets dueled now. They do manage to get the disarm, and Rasmus is here with the Rolling Thunder. Now the roar going off as well. This is actually a really great position for them to be in. The Sven immediately leaving in secret. They're kind of stuck. There's nowhere to run to. Storm Stormer gets the double kill with one pair of axes. Meanwhile, Puppy at bottom lane. Smashers might just get another one. Puppy tries to eat through the trees, but he's not faster than an Aga Siren. Hofu is going to be caught up by Nisha's rotation here, but a really good swashbuckle. Does a lot of damage, doesn't disarm Matumba Man. That's problematic for Rasmus as he will go down. Storm Stormer's left now to hold this tier one tower up. Storm Stormer 
Wow, that, that's a lot of health when you factor in the regen that comes from uh, press the attack, Kyle. That is exactly. That's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> Good pick off on Storm Stormer. They may lose the Absor for it as the Snapfire Ultimate does a healthy amount of damage. They lead the Illusions and the Boar to do their dirty work. Nisha with the Haste Rune does have to run away, though. He's got no mana, and the Haste Rune's just about to run out. Rasmus. You gonna go for this? Nisha's already regened up a little bit here. Hop on over. Nisha gets another bit now. The Rolling Thunder Boulder doesn't do that much damage, so they're gonna need a lot. Wow. That Shredder does so much damage. Yeah, seriously. 95 fixed per shot. The armor loss. Nice roar. A big kill. TP coming in just in time. They do have the Ice Blast, but if anything, Puppy's got to be careful here. Oh, my top of man, he does end up going down. Gilgar managed to hit the stomp there. They've traded core for core here, but Yapser is quite low. Minus armor still lingering means that uh, the boar doing a hefty amount of damage there. Great game. He's been so active, but four deaths and net worth non-existent. Raz is going to be targeted here of the duel. And even look at that. Yapsor, he goes for the back line. He knows that Gilger's going to be around trying to cookie people. So Stormer's got space. He doesn't want to be playing mid lane like that. He's got boars to push it. He wants to throw axes and run to the jungle, but it's already been swept by the Naga. I love see him. He's on the low ground. Song, not good enough. They're going to try. I use a rolling boulder here and double hit does do a lot. Oh, They're no, certainly going to be able to ring down the storm spear intent. Uh, now the Aegis is going to allow him to come right back up. Sure, he's stunned instantly, but he's certainly going to be able to jump down ace. You wait a oh, second or yeah. two later. That was like a second or two. Smashers smoked out. They're going to be caught. Okay, the song. This is going to be their first setup. They're going to go ahead, egg it up, Rolling Thunder as well, drop it, and go for the stunts. They're immediately going to try and identify the Legion Commander as a big hero to deal with. They throw a bunch of damage, but it's not quite enough. He managed to get off the press of the attack. He goes invulnerable. They dealt with the Ancient Apparition, but only the five position going down is not good enough. They need to be able to kill Zai and kill him now. One last Axis. It doesn't hit him, Zai. Gets away with the hell snipping at his ass. He's going to be able to jump out, get a duel as well. That's five dead for an ancient apparition. And Kyle, it's looking like maybe just straight up and just uh, for good reason. Yeah, I'm sorry. He's going to get burned out here. And uh, they may just have a free Roshan here. I mean, they, they, with the Beastmaster and a Pango. Oh, no. Matumba, man, she's going to just jump right in. They do have Song, but the BKB is already active. He's going to have to deal with the egg here. Can Matumba man do it by himself? It looks like he can. He's going to be stunned up, but he's already dealt enough damage with the Beastmaster dead. Gilger is going to fall as well. The Storm's here zipping after Ace, who's already caught by Yapsor. He's dead as well. Hellfire no. Smasher, no. this is your chance. This is your opportunity to maybe make a comeback. And you throw it away by just five manning inside well, the pit. Well, they didn't throw it away necessarily. Matu just said, you know what? Sliver. Sliver. It is tight. Like, Damn it. I was right. That's last racks. Last racks. Last opportunity for Smashers. Here again, Secret. Storm Stormer. Gonna stop Matum Man in his tracks. They're gonna go ahead and get off the song. And the egg combo. Rolling Thunder is going to be able to hit some of the backline heroes, and they do manage to get those stuns. The damage a little lacking here. They need to be able to bring down the Storm Spirit, but he still has the Aegis. Gilger on the side is throwing in magic damage where he can, and they're certainly doing a good job kiting around Matumba Man, but now he's been picked up with the Snowball and thrown a Sapphire, while Ace is being left with Nisha. Nisha is able to just do tons and tons of single target damage. That is it for the Smashers. Good job. Taking game two. Indeed.